I, I will go to uh, Dr. Serone. I think Dr. Serone, you are in Germany. If I'm not if I'm not wrong. Yes, I am. I am in Germany. Thank you very much for the uh, the honor and the invitation. And I'm really sorry that I'm joining you guys very late. So I'm obviously going to be out of tune. Um, but I appreciate the fact that we have this space and let's have it as regularly as possible so that we come together. So, you know, quickly, um, I come from Nandi Hills in, in Kenya. I live in Germany with my family where um, I am in business in science contracting. It was, uh, you know, for f seven years or so, an associate professor at the University of Munich in Bavaria, then worked for Mars, incorporated the owners of Wrigley for about eight and a half years. I've been a Baba man for a very long time. I ran for governor in 2013 in Nandi on ODM and lost miserably to the URP guy, who then lost miserably to the Jubilee guy. Um, in 2017 um, and and you know I I think I, I bear the ignominy that uh, William and I went to the same high school when I was in form one I'm a, a pioneer 844 he was in um, he was doing his A levels at Kapsabet High School so I know him from you know those days um, as a guy that doesn't have one of the teeth on the uh, the frontals actually so he has one fake uh, tooth which more or less speaks to about everything he does, which is fake, you know, um, the the, uh, the fake bravado and, and, and all that. I think I, I agree with Dr. Ndonye Ndole. I, I can only see half of his uh, surname, but I agree with Michael um, that we need to be absolutely clear that the fight is not with any of the other flower men that we, we have in this contest. It's basically Baba versus William. And I, I just want to throw something in the, in, the, uh, in the air that a lot of us think we are dealing with a guy who is going to throw up his hands and just give up and walk away. William is not that kind of a fellow, you know. I knew him as a very meek uh, guy who was so shy he couldn't speak. I don't know where he found the voice and the bravado um, to be what he is today. But you know, people turn out to be lions um, as, as as they grow, and probably one of the ingredients is money um, and women, of course. But I, I would like to give us a warning, all of us. The reason why William is in this race is not because of me as a Nandi or you as a Kenyan who is, you know, a Mama Mboga or a Baba Kokoteni or whatever it is. William is in this race for William. And the reason he's in this race for William is because he is chasing only one thing. He is chasing Im immunity. William is afraid of the ICC being revived. He's looking for immunity for that. William is, a, is, is afraid of, you know, the, uh, the ghosts of corruption following him. He is in this race for immunity from that. So it doesn't matter what you think about. They can be as fancy as, you know, he wants to bring up the Mamamboga and all these other guys. All that is BS. The bottom line, the key thing that is driving him is immunity from impunity and and you know I, I will stop it there i don't want to spoil the uh, the broth um but just have those two things in mind he's he's really in there for immunity against impunity and he will do anything to win i think this is the other thing that a lot of us take for granted he will do anything. He will meet, speed, uh, you know, Smartmatic um, in, in Uganda. He will, he will lament the loudest when everybody else is talking about, you know, the IABC is not prepared, etc., 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 etc. Guys, if there is anything you want to do for the remaining 13 days, just remember, this is a war for the heart and soul of Kenya. And you can, you can go to bed on the 10th. Don't do it now. William in this for immunity from impunity. Thank you very much.
That is very stark. Thank you so much, Dr. Serone.